Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Proxbox with one uh, device. So many of you just want to set up your Hackintosh um, without uh, using a secondary computer. So this is what this is useful for. And eventually when laptops are supported this will be really great. So we've partnered with AJP Networks uh, which you can find a link to the website in the description below along with the link to the github page to download the software uh, that will be featured in this video. Uh, so basically what it does, it uh, installs a open box session onto your Proxmox host that runs a Firefox um, which basically runs the local host PVE node uh, web interface. So I use this on my main system it works really great it just means that you don't have to have your workstation or anything on or a laptop nearby I can literally just change some settings even if that's just uh, doing some maintenance on the HSVE website it really is great so basically we're on the uh, normal Proxmox uh, interface that you would find on the command line uh, so this is what you'd see when you first boot up the machine so you get an IP address that says uh, go to this to configure your node Luckily, we don't need to do that today because we use this something called SSH, which is secure shell. So it's a remote access uh, to your uh, Proxmox host. So I'm on Windows, uh, but if you go to terminal on macOS and Linux, you can do the same command to access the Proxmox node, which I'll get onto now. So you can see uh, I'm on Windows here. If I press the Windows key and type in terminal, enter. Uh, you can see we get a Windows PowerShell here. It will work the same as you've got it in command prompt mode. But all you need to do is do ssh root at and then the IP address of your Proxmox host, which for me is 192.168.0.247. It'll be different for you, but check that uh, CLI uh, interface that we were just at before. And then press enter. It might ask you for a uh, authentication. Just press yes or just type in yes, enter. Uh, and then type in your password like this. It won't show up that you're typing, but it is typing. Once you've done that, press enter. And you can see now that we have a uh, shell into our system. So we're going to use the GitHub commands. Um, again, all the commands that are used in this video are in the links in the description. Again, many thanks to AJP Networks for making this script along with us, uh, as it allows for uh, better use with Proxmox and overall the new way Hackintosh. So let me grab the commands, and then I'll be right back to you. So I've got the first command, it's a wget command, which basically gets files from a web page. So it's getting it from GitHub um, and then installing it. Uh, press enter, easy as that. And then do dot forward slash install.sh, enter. And then you can see, uh, there we go. If it says, are you in reinstalling it? I'm not, because it's a fresh installation, it will be for you. Uh, but you can see, uh, we've got a lovely um, graphic here. Press enter. It's going to do uh, some updates to the server and then it's going to install the necessary packages. So you can see um, if you're wondering about this here don't worry about it. All you need to do if you've not done the uh, enterprise packages which I've done on purpose here uh, we need to do them. So we go to Proxmox and then go to our actual Uh, PVE node which like this and then go to repositories you just want to disable the enterprise ones and add the no subscription ones and then that's fine now you can rerun the script I'm not reinstalling it so it's going to run the update now so uh, once it's done the update it will install the packages and then uh, we're better to just reboot and then we're ready to go which is really really good um, you can see it's doing it all. It shouldn't take too long, um, but depending on the speedy disk and stuff and your internet, depends on how long it'll take. With everything computers, really, that's usually the case. You can see it's installed the ESR version of Firefox now as well, because it's updated the live version uh, of the server. So it's done that, get update and upgrade. Now it's installing the necessary packages, or some people call them dependencies. I can never say that word right, dependencies, there we go, and then X in it, again, dependency, uh, with that, 
it's basically just installing all the necessary um, tools, including OpenBox, which is a great piece of software that I will um, demo in another video, but it's great. Honestly, great. You can see, done. So, we can just run that command to um, actually start it up, but I like rebooting the server first. So if, we click, if I do reboot, it'll say that the connection is closed, and then we'll wait for the uh, system to reboot, and we'll look at the CLI and see what's happening there. So the system has rebooted now, and you can see here uh, that we have the login prompt. All we need to do for that is actually just tap in our login credentials, so root and then the password that you set, press enter, give it a few moments, and then what we want to do is do prox. Hold on, let me get the command. Prox dash kiox. Press enter, and then after that first time now, that's it. We go to advanced, scroll down, accept the risk. You can see the web interface for Proxmox. Now if I um, exit that and log out, it should automatically do it at login. But if it doesn't, you can run that command. So uh, I didn't know this, but the auto start feature uh, has been deprecated. Uh, so don't worry about um, the parts in this video where I try to get it to auto work. You need to do the prox kiox command uh, that I will show you later in the video. There you go, prox kiox. Enter. And it's straight to uh, Firefox. So, all you do is log in. And you have full management. You can see the full web interface and stuff. And you can right click and you can add some more uh, applications in there. Um, I recommend this on FileZilla uh, just for transferring the templates over. So you do that with sudo at get install FileZilla dash y. Oh, sudo is not found. I'm used to just typing in sudo. And then that will just um, basically install FileZilla. And then we've go back into prox kiox. Um, like so, prox kiox. And then um, minimize Firefox. Right click, applications, you can see FileZilla is here, and you can use FileZilla as needed. Great piece of software, again thanks to AJP Networks for partnering with us. Um, you can visit the site down below, uh, and also visit the description for all the commands used in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, also thanks for 4000 subscribers, it's really great to see uh, all of you joining this channel. Uh, a special thanks to my members and Tor from the Discord team. Tor really helps me um, with everything, especially with work and stuff like that. Uh, he really helps keep that channel up and running. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. Uh, please do leave a like and consider subscribing to join HSVE and join us along the Hackintosh way. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.